Two BC party leaders were in the Okanagan Friday to speak on Alberta's recent BC wine embargo. Newly minted BC Liberal leader Andrew Wilkinson met with his Kelowna West by-election candidate Ben Stewart at Sand Hill Wines in Kelowna Friday morning. Wilkinson blamed both NDP premiers for the cross-border dispute and predicted the BC government would lose in court if its efforts to curb the transport of diluted bitumen through the province was challenged constitutionally. And I guess the sad thing is that this product is now being denied to people in Alberta who are lovers of the Okanagan and would love to consume BC product. All British Columbians are proud of BC wines and there's a huge choice in the store from all around the world. But we're pretty patriotic in this province, so I suspect people would be like me and looking at the shelves and saying, I've got kind of a warm spot and a duty to deal with BC wines first. A few hours later, BC Green Party leader Andrew Weaver joined his Kelowna West by-election candidate Robert Stupka at West Kelowna's Volcanic Hills Winery. Mr. Horgan has his right to look to regulate that which comes across his province. Yeah. He would like to see a, a scientific study done to ensure that the product being shipped in the pipes across our territory, the bladed bitumen, can safely be cleaned up and he's putting together an expert panel. And Mr. Ms. Notley's response is to stick it to BC Wines. I don't know how she thinks she's going she's to impress anyone over this. And I think the resolution of this will be that public pressure is going to push Rachel Notley to back down. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson. Big on business? Click the Okanagan Edge widget on the main page. The Okanagan Edge, positively business.